hey guys uh, more of blender video because uh, i mean i'm working on that and it's for the channel and so i also can can make a video oh it's not a tutorial it's just i show you my stuff <laughs> that's about it um just want to say that because last time i didn't say that or i say i said it but more um in the end anyway so today uh we're gonna take a little bit of a look at the crazy snowman here i have a better version of this guy um like uh i made a you know <laughs> look at this guy <laughs> anyway uh, we're gonna take a, a better look at him a little bit later it's not finished yet it's just uh you know whatever this is yeah so i was thinking today because um i i wanted to record yesterday a little bit of um uh, flat out 2 um it's a racing game i bought it on gog i bought a lot of old games very cheap in the sale including fallout 2 no not fallout 2 um flat out the racing game flat out uh, 2 which i've never played i believe so uh flat out 3 i have probably on steam uh um anyway it doesn't matter so and i thought this uh scene although i like it very much and it's not for everybody that's it that's the thing i i'm aware of that not everybody likes to see the gameplay taking place in such a small uh, window but i do like it very very much and uh, i thought uh, i should do two things first of all we need a scene with uh, a racing elements instead of science fiction but this maybe not this year <laughs> uh, and the next thing i thought is that uh the scene looks good and it's also nice with the 17 inch uh screen but it could be a little bit i think i could use the space a little bit more efficient so we're gonna we, we i want to make it a little bit bigger just slightly bigger uh so that we f use the space more efficient but we have to be careful because you need to have to waste a little bit of space i believe so to make it look nice I mean, we could sh for sure make like, like, like that big, and then you have a little bit of space like that, and it's very efficient. But you know, it's about the, the optic, and uh, for that we need to waste a little bit of space. But that's what I think, at least. That's what I think. I do not know. Um, so well, let's just do it. I would say the mouse at certain point. That's that's a very cheap made mouse. I is here um i think i could do it better <laughs> but i kind of like it anyway so let's focus on this scene uh good thing is we have every every piece of this guy um or maybe i can show you this a little bit uh, better um every piece of this guy where am i oh that's a little bit uh tricky now how can we ah, yeah, because it's connected to this guy so hold on this is a little bit tricky it's like you you're sticking everything to uh to uh that's called an empty you're gonna stick everything to that and that is gives you the ability if you ch if you if you pick this up then you're picking everything up which you have connected which is very uh helpful not just that also you can uh change the scale of everything which is connected and that's just makes make it making it stuff easier so that's how we're gonna play now how does this look actually <laughs> yay <laughs> that's how we're gonna play games from now on so that's for sure <laughs> okay let's undo this nonsense um and uh good let me just okay but i it has even a better advantage so i open this uh the main empty is this one here the big one which which uh, carries the whole scene here which is important so that has the advantage i can carry it with the camera so no matter where i place this little guy here uh i i i don't change the camera which is good if you want to uh, um, edit it afterwards with photoshop or something to cut out uh, something or whatever so that is a huge advantage um yeah so now let's go to what we want to do um we wanna um i oh, you know what you know what how do i do that the easiest way we have to 
open i try i try to do it professional or i try i'm not sure if it's professional like this so i hope we, we selected everything that's very important because sometimes the problem is if you if you have the the main empty like this one here and you can you know you can uh, yeah change the position of every uh, object but you ha if you want to make sure that you, uh, that you selected every object you have to make sure that this is open too this is the next um, you know the little empty which is connected if we do not have that then we're only selecting everything which is which the uh, which the empty carries except those stuff you can see they are not selected that can be confusing so you have always to select the main empty i think so there's a, there's a better way too you can also oh there are you know that's a, i think that's why um blender can be confusing because there are so many ways to work with that uh you could also um just um if you select a bunch of stuff like this one uh, you're pressing and you're pressing m you can give this uh, all those uh, you can make a collection and give it a name and then later on select the collection which is also very helpful but in the end you have to like it that when you are happy with that it doesn't matter which way you choose uh, it's the right way at least uh, if you you know do this for your own pleasure so then you can do whatever you want however you want very important okay let's uh try this one here again let's try this where am i here good we have the whole scene including the other stuff here that's okay and now we're gonna select and say in word and press h for hiding everything else and now it's it looks just a little bit cleaner and see that's what what happens if you everything what was connected uh, to the other stuff like the sword and books not visible anymore because we did not open that so this is that way you can choose it if you so that's why collections uh, could work better in this case but you have to make the collections first so um but there's a different way too you could just say if you want to just we could just view it from the top down menu and then we just uh, this is the x-ray view if you want uh, which is uh, good if you want to select almost everything in here and then we press c and select this one too and now we're gonna go in word and so now we see a little bit better when we press h for hiding the the, the scene is, is 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 gone and if you press h again nothing happens you have to to press uh, alt h uh, to to make it unhide so that's uh, the shortcut um yeah so now it's uh looking a little bit uh, easier to the eyes what the heck is that anyway let's let's we don't need that actually that i just deleted it's really not needed so okay then i'm i can save it because uh, nothing really major has changed and we i also have uh, backups so okay the easiest way to just adjust this a little bit is to to make it bigger like this and now it could be a little bit boring because this is something you just need to i i need to see it if i like it or not and that's a, a very boring part this little guy you know this is the i think this guy could be a slightly smaller and going to the right side so that we can make this this guy a little bit uh, bigger and i thought about making the the rim or i don't know, know how this is called uh, smaller as well but i looked up actually a 19 inch uh, screen for example they the rims uh, are always very very uh big so i'm i'm not really wrong with that so i really want to have impression of looking at the old screen um, at certain point I'm gonna make a completely new version because this is basically just a modified version of the 15 inch uh, screen um, so when we do that we also stretch every everything which is connected to to the whole scene so you see uh, you ha we have to keep that in mind it doesn't matter if it's only a slightly difference 
but if you don't wanna for example the logo i don't wanna actually change the the logo uh, thing too much so what we could do is just uh, we connected it to to this one <laughs> we connected uh, this collection, this mini collection, the logo collection to this one. And if you change the big one, we're changing the the basically this col the, the small one, and the small one changes everything else. So we can just disconnect that by uh, right click and go to parent and say clear parent. That means it's gone. <laughs> it just uh, the connection is gone and it goes back to its uh, where we uh, started with uh, where, wherever it was before, I believe not 100% sure and also when I say something don't rely on this 100% I'm sometimes mixing up stuff also words uh, so please don't that's why if I should if I'm gonna make a tutorial when I I mean for sure not in the next year I believe or maybe we don't know but if I do then I'm, I'm this 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 gonna be I'm gonna edit uh, a lot because um, you have to make sure that you say the right thing. It's okay if you just uh, record something and tell blah blah. But at the tutorial, you should make sure that you review it and that you adding edit it, adding it uh, afterwards because you're gonna say something stupid or uh, wrong, and you have you you're not aware during the recording. That's that's a weird part, yeah, um, and that's why you. You're gonna do that. So I made it bigger. Why do I do? What did I do that? I don't know. I don't want to make it bigger. Actually, I like the size. Just the position goes back to this place. Um. So good. So okay. Now we're gonna change this a little bit here. I thought about making making this area a little bit tinier but then again I, I looked it up and look look up those old uh, screens they are very big and the display itself is very small I'm gonna optimize this but probably not today just want to make see how it looks like um, in the end screen so let's focus on that again uh, what have I done I'm an idiot just wanted to go into oh yeah I hide this the desk so okay good I see. Um, uh, I have to be careful because it's the, the, the original. I mean, it, it has to look in the. It has to look good for games who are, you know, who have a. Uh, four to three uh, aspect ratio is this the right thing actually I do not know so we are kind of cheating a little bit but I think it's okay because I, I checked that if we scale it a little bit if we uh, put the gameplay video in here uh, it'll look good in the end it's uh, it's gonna be fine so this guy a little bit more oh. Oh. What am I doing? What am I doing? This guy we're gonna put a little bit to the side, a little bit more. And the mouse, mouse, it doesn't even have a mouse pad. It needs to have a mouse pad at some point. It's a very ugly desk to be honest, just realized that. Anyway, that's what it is right now. It's not, the desk is looking like that because um, it doesn't really matter since um, it is uh, not really visible. If there would be an edge visible in the scene itself, the scene itself is visible from here to that, that's the camera view. Then, uh, so what I mean, oh, I'm showing you guys like this. So this, wait a second, uh, this is what we, what we see. Um, it, it'll look different right now, it's a little bit, um, it looks almost wet, but that's because of the render type we've chosen. Um, and so we can see in this video how the scene would look like and I think that's a little bit better um, I think we have to change this one is a little bit big 
and this one is also a little bit no this is okay but the mouse is weird now so um yeah let's see how this looks like gonna save the game here i think <laughs> we're gonna save the game um we gonna we'll go into the circle render this is the render we choose for the creating the image if you make an uh, animation uh, and you choose this render engine then i made an animation like different versions this this would probably took weeks until it's rendered finished so <laughs> for animation it's not good but if you make uh, screenshots and something for that it's 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 a really good uh, render type so it's um but at, at, at first i didn't like that at all because it that i do not know if you jump into a blender and the first thing you you'll see is 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 this one when you change the camera you, you give up immediately you say what no no get the hell out of you <laughs> but uh, this one i uh, the eve render engine is so good it, it is so so noob friendly it, it really uh, you know makes it makes makes it fun to work because it's if you're a gamer uh, and although their their navigation is a little bit weird but you're getting used to that after a while um it is like a game basically it's like uh, better minecraft nonsense minecraft is a, is, a, is a great game i played a hell of a lot when i was younger and from time to time i look at this game um so how does it look it now we want to change what did we say last time i wonder if i changed the position of the uh oh, this is not connected we can just what we also could do um but it makes it a little bit unstable it's not really necessary you see it's not completely um we could turn on collisions and then we could make this uh, thing yeah, we could give it a kind of a physique but it's more work and it's not very necessary really necessary at least right now to do that if you want to be completely perfect then then it's probably fine so what's a little bit difficult is let me just change this is changing this position oh yeah that's better yeah and now we're gonna rotate it like this so the book so there are two options to make it smaller first of all the clear uh, you can scale it smaller or if we put this thing in the background it's gonna become smaller too so um but i think put it in here it's always good to live i think from the optic and i'm not an artist or anything like that i i just what i what i think of what i like is um um when you have a little bit space between uh stuff we don't have a little bit space between that because that's it already takes so much space so i this is okay i think to to be at the, at the rim i would like it better if it's um if we would have it like like that for example but we really need to have a little bit uh, we have to compromise i guess it should be yeah something is wrong in here yeah the, the whole screen is a little bit um, well we can do one thing let's hide this here those are two pieces i'm not sure if you need that both but we can make it like that it's still okay and yeah i think that looks better yeah it's almost perfect actually from my view so oh making books is very interesting actually this is my my first attempt to make a book or a lighter kind of uh, about the weapon i said the last time i said that's my very first weapon but it's not completely true but kind of because uh when my niece were with me uh mikey uh he's uh, 10 years old and i played with him a little bit and i i showed him you know my, my blender stuff and he was he was very cool because he liked it but he got also very quickly bored <laughs> so, but honestly you know i mean what can you what can you say so he said hey that's cool and then he got bored and said and so then i said hey we're gonna create a weapon what do you think and so i create a very very quick weapon within 15 minutes looked like 
boy like i'm not even sure if i if i have it somewhere maybe i have it somewhere so that was a very poor weapon uh so i don't consider it as a first uh, attempt but technically i have to say that it was my very first weapon anyway that's what that this one was my very first weapon which i took seriously or serious so that's for sure okay so um yeah i also thought uh, i mean i don't have the audience uh for that right now and i don't know how we would do this anyway uh but i thought about uh, uh rebuilding um your 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 screens you know from your childhood because that could be a challenge and also interesting not 100 percent probably but uh you know as, as, as a thought it was interesting so um oh i want to show you something i think this looks good but it's it's different i've seen it today i like it very much uh, if we uh this is the modifier the subdivision modifier if we uh go to this one oh wait a second uh not sure about we have to you <laughs> Don't worry, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's just I have to see. No, it's vice versa, I believe. Yeah. So this one looks kind of. Ah, we have in the wrong one. Looks cool, right? Um, in a in a in a different way. I like I like how it looks very much. Actually, we have to. Um. Oh, this is also. Boy, this this uh, when I when I uh, created my very first uh, animation, uh, the long version, uh, not the mech, um, I I set up everything. The thing is, if you change the number here, let's let's say you have well, it's easier to show this with a cube, I guess. So we have a cube here, and I'm gonna quickly. So this is the oh, I'm gonna show you a proper. So this is the normal cube, and. So let's see. So this is the normal cube, and if we uh, if we active, if we give the cube a subdivision surface, then and let me give the cube a color. Like I said, it's nicer, like a blue. So good. That doesn't matter. The color doesn't matter at all. This one matters again. If we choose a subdivision modifier, then it becomes this guy, and then we set uh, shade to smooth. You can always go back to flat. But we want to have it smooth, then it looks like that. And then if we if we uh, push this level here a, bit, a little bit, then it becomes ball like. So the problem now is that um, here in the in the in the view it looks exactly like a ball, uh, pretty good. Uh, but in the final render it will look like this. And the reason for that is you have to just keep that in mind that this one counts as this one counts in the render so what we could do is we could say um this is now uh level five and the more polygons it simulates the the the, the harder blender has to work also with the modifier i said this a little bit wrong in the last time i believe um because i try to say it as, as good as possible um but it's true that if you have more polygons, it's it's basically for for Blender, it's harder to render. So even the the, the simulated ones, uh, so with the modifier. Um, anyway, so uh, but there is a good solution. You could actually say, I just want to approximately see, and that's why you can have two different things. I believe if you want to have a very round ball in the render, I think four is already enough but you can use five um so you can say i want to have like a very uh, good looking ball in the final render then you say five and when you uh, need to work with it then it's really enough to just present it right now in real time like this for example because it it, it um it's less work for blender it's just smoother and and uh, faster so it's good for working but i usually have it like that so that's okay um it's a performance thing that's what i try to say anyway so let's go back to the to our uh, thing so yeah i kind of like it but i really want to stick to the real thing this looks like a fallout screen now and so that's what i what i thought when i took this uh, when i 
activated that and again this is very important i i don't really know why for some reason i think it's a little bit weird that if you say set this to free that the render is not i think the render should always match uh, at least the highest anyway it's a little bit weird but not nothing major you you have to just know that and then it's fine so i i thought back then i have to apply it that's what i thought i have to apply it so that it, it, it looks like that so i did so and that wasn't that great you just have to make sure that in the render view it's also uh, activated good we're not gonna do it. i like it like this because that's what it should look like in the final thing so i think that's okay we have to see maybe we have to really make this a little bit smaller so that we can stretch the the whole screen but that's really depending on how it looks in the in the, when i record with open broker software how this will look like uh what i do um later is just um there i could technically render this thing without um without a scene background but there is still something i need to change with photoshop make it a little bit smoother the edges or whatever this is um because probably i'm not working that great so there's always something i, I need to to work on so we're gonna uh, in blender later uh just uh, gonna change we kind of cut the green thing out and also this guy um so uh, there's also a good way if you want to do that um, what you could do well anyway this is for later what we're going to do now is saving that um, i'm gonna work on this so i think i'm gonna render this thing later with a like like this one here um, but it takes a while oh you know what i show you how it looks how it look the final render um and I just uh, stopped the recording while this is well. It's this uh, this guy here is working, so we're gonna go to circle. And I think the mouse could be a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> look at this guy in the background. <laughs> Such a weirdo. I love it. Um, so actually this guy my, my girlfriend made i um she that's a real thing i have it in the in the real world i can i can touch it and it looks it looks in the real in the real even better and i it, it's really me it, it represents my completely craziness <laughs> so that's why i love this yeah this, this thing it's it's awesome okay we're gonna render this now and you see uh, this will take a while so i'm just gonna pause the recording and get myself some water and so on oh hey guys i just re uh, realized i i have to change something because we can't use that uh i have to change the the size number at least uh we're gonna say 19 uh, inch uh, this is a tall that's the german thing i think so it's inch um it's not really 19 as you uh, probably saw that's not i mean we could do this someday to make it extremely well but not you know right now everything w which is easy and nice to do it's it's the fun thing um but it will help me to 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 when i see the uh, pg no png files to uh, it, it'll help me to uh, see the difference um uh do not get confused you know so it's a good marker for myself okay okay um until yeah so okay so that's the the final render and this is how it'll look like later and right now it's for testing purposes because we have to uh, change this guy as well and there is a text a merry christmas text written for testing uh, things um which uh, we i don't want to use it in here so that's not gonna be in the uh, recording later um, but for testing it's right now it's good so what we're gonna do now is um, to make it easier later for blender um, I will hide everything um, which is well we will render one without background and so on 
because we have cha we changed uh, what we could do later with game photoshop is um, select the uh, color here and cut this out because this is actually one of what we want to get rid of um that's the easiest way there would be a there's also a different way we could just um hide everything and then render it but when i say press the hide button this doesn't work like that if you wanna if you if you wanna hide uh, stuff in the final render I, i'm gonna show you this quickly um, um like like for example let's say we're gonna hide this and then we press the the quick render thing so this will be very quick then you see it's still uh, visible and the way you do that is um you go to into the i think that's the object property so what is it actually oh i will <laughs> okay dokie i i start to remember certain things good um and then we have to go into the visibility thing and then you see here um show in viewport this is where we are right now and render and if you do this again um, then it's gone in the in the final render and the good thing is if you um i think i'm not gonna do this i think i'm gonna be fine with the color selecting thing i just remembered something because um anyway it doesn't really matter it's a little bit uh, um although for showing purposes it's i could show it as well anyway uh what we could do yeah let's just do it what we could do is um go into the whole engine property menu i think that's what is that called render properties oh boy i was so close i guess uh and then we have to go to film i do not know why it's called film um but that's where it is um and then you have here transparent that means that the background of the whole scene uh the background is here uh, right now i think everything is black the background is here you can give the background a texture whatever so many different things um nothing changes that's weird ah because i did this one here and this one here so now you see um you can you know have different oh that's funny um different backgrounds uh, but if you want to have a png file without the background which is very important because then um, you you can use the png file when you cut out certain files have no background you don't need to cut out anything it's already not existing you don't need to do that it's the it's very sharp looking if you put this on a, on, on so, uh, in as a png file on top of uh, a video on something you don't it, you know it saves your work it's 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 very cool um so in this case we could go to film uh, so this is transparent and then you see the whole scene looks uh different because it's the background is, is gone um it it's not really visible in, in, in the scene i just realized that but the important thing is if we say now go to the object properties and say we want to hide the green uh, thing in the render I would also recommend to hide it in here so that you are aware. Um, then we have to put this guy away. Oh, no, not this guy. What the heck is that? Uh, that's just some. This one is interesting because I uh, I got an idea on how to make a, um, a thing look like a zebra. Um, you know that's the the you know what it what it represents the the color and stuff the mixture is very cool and this is the note how you how you do that so that's the reason I, I saved it kind of like that um, also I would you will I would recommend uh, if to to save everything you you're not sure how you did this because you you're gonna go back and I I really recommend uh, make if you wanna if you wanna if you start with Blender and you you did something and you don't you're not sure you know that you will forget how you did this later on and you will forget that then just uh, you know um, copy this in a new scene or something and then and, and, uh, save it uh, as an extra blender file and call it uh, how to make uh, um, how to make uh, yellow and black things or whatever you think uh, will let you know what what it is um, so then uh i think it's a spare button in german i'm yeah. i'm always confused when i talk in one language i forget the other <laughs> so anyway that's not really a problem 
So we are gonna put this away and make it proper. Um, so yeah, we should actually for cutting out purposes. Let me just think, I think I made a minor mistake, a thinking mistake. Uh, the door, the door, the door, the door. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, I mean, how do I say that? Uh, yeah, the door shouldn't be visible, that's for sure. So we should hide that, but then the other ones hide, hide it too. Because I'm working with Photoshop, it's not that big of a deal. I actually wanted to show you how it approximately works. So we're gonna hide the door for now. Um, oh, about the door, I want to show you something. Look at that. That's the best thing. No, I'm gonna show it, it uh, at, the, at the other side because it's just cooler. We have to switch the camera. Uh, camera is the other one is here. No, this is our current one. Uh, if you wonder how you how you gonna change the view, you have to uh, search for a camera, and then you need to click on the green camera. Then it changes to the other one. See? Uh, I just realized both cameras are here. Well, that's unfortunate. So well, ah, we are. This is a different scene. Okay, okay, I see. There is no. Okay, then in this case, <laughs> forget about that. Uh, that's a different scene. Uh, in the other video, you have seen the other uh, stuff. So, like I said, I have a lot of uh, different folders. With uh, one is called uh, for future games and uh, retro games, and then uh, backups a lot. So I I confuse myself all the time. Uh, to the point where I lost. Ah, okay, we have to go back into here. So if you render this now, it would look like this one. Um, like that. Uh, like I said, the door is kind of in the way and this guy, uh, it gives you later the good ability. Uh, we don't need to do that right now. But if I put the full um, picture, which we rendered earlier, which I already saved, um, uh, if you put this one on top of that, we can just, it's easier to cut it out. It's, I show you this in, in, in gameplay there maybe. Um, hope I'm not confusing too much. So, this guy is kind of in the way and I wanted to show you that you, that I actually set up that we can close and open the door. Look at that. Look at that, what we can do now. Now isn't that not something? <laughs> uh, that's called, uh, uh, what is it called? Object data? Yeah, ah, no, shape keys, shape keys. They are very interesting, but then it's not really important to have it to... Uh, this is something which also makes sense later on. Everything is very, very confusing at first. So, um, you know what? We gonna go the easy way. I'm just gonna cut it out with, uh, with GIMP because it's to me, it's just a little bit easier and I know what I wanna do. So, but you could actually do the same thing with this guy. Uh, take away the background and later on you have like, you know, you can, you can make it really fun. Um, I think I confused you right now. I'm sorry about that. What are we gonna do now? And before we jump into to GIMP, and uh, I show you the nonsense. What we could do now is uh, we take a look at, the, at this guy here because he's interesting too, I believe. So let me see. Uh, yeah, I know how to do that. Okay, so we are now in the Christmas uh, menu. I hope I wrote this correct. Uh, I should because it's German, but sometimes I make stupid mistakes. Um, so we are here and this was very interesting to me because you see, I uh, tried to use the hair particles, which, looking, which are looking good in the final render. There's a lot of hidden stuff here, so I'm gonna unhide it. Uh, it takes a while. And then it looks like this one. It's just uh, the first, um, the first, um, how do I say that? Uh, yeah, a test uh, thing. So you see, um, this is this is how he looks now with the with the hair. I think that's great. It's it's very weird. I hear the 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 hair stuff, particles, and so. Um, I recently uh, took a look at this. It's in a weird way. It's easy, but also um, well, it's it's weird. <laughs> it's not that it's not very difficult. Um, 
but you need time to 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 adjust or oh, patience patience and time you see here those guys um it's not this is the the second thing uh, i've saved but uh i started with this guy to make the the uh the head first because like usually i think uh, making stuff like a head or something is super easy every time when i think something is very very easy we're just gonna do this quickly then it turns out to not be easy. So I tried to, to make that um, uh, in, 3D, in 2D, like I started with the sword, but it somehow turned out that I used a 3D model instead of a 2D model at certain point because I um, had really, really uh, trouble to, to see it proper. Or I don't know what I thought, but that's what it is. Um, and you see that it looks like a plastic thing here. And then I tried to use this note here. Um, hmm. we do it? Yeah. Here we go. Um, to this one we can ignore. That's not really part of it. So um, I tried to to make it a little bit like uh, fluffy. And oh boy, there are very, 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 very uh, good videos um, about making uh, uh, soft stuff and so on <laughs> I, I don't have my translation box here so I, I, I can't really say but in German it's called Wolle it's maybe wool like a like a skirt you know so something like that that can be very difficult and um, complex uh, I've seen a video and I thought oh that I would like to do but oh boy this would take me the whole weekend I guess so I'm um, right now I really focus on get it done in my way maybe in two years I, I, I you know I, nothing has to be perfect all the time so i try to so i use the note here the, the wave texture and that's the interesting part if you we, we scale it very small if you make make it uh smaller or not, not again uh, this 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 one influences this guy as well so we're gonna say mapping is we're gonna just put this to zero and this one to zero two and this to, to one and then we change that back to that and something happens not you can't really see much uh, see so it's not just this one so let's uh, this is called a wave texture it, it kind of creates a wave as you can see you can also change it to different things and then um, I just used it I tried to make a little bit uh, of noise I also used the noise texture it could also work but I, I just have chosen this guy to, to give it a little bit of a of a structure like that doesn't matter I created this a little bit worked on that and uh, I used again this is um, basically just cube like um, because I like to work with that this basically it would just be uh, you know it would look like this one but but I really like the using the modifier just you know my 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 what i would i like to use but you don't have to use you don't have to go this way there is also a very interesting uh, feature in, in blender which is called uh, sculpting sculpting um and in this case i would really say that can we hide everything yeah <clears throat> so when we gonna let's go into this menu here we're gonna create a, a cube so we have a cube and I've said already and the more polygons an uh, object has the um, the what am I, ah, the more polygons an object has the harder it is for for blender to work with and I said even in the last time it's bad but it, it depends on what you want to do uh, it can be very very good so if we give an object a lot of polygons uh, by making it round with the modifier there are multiple ways to approach the same thing so again you can also just uh, you don't have to go this way i just start with the uh, cube you can just you know here's a sphere like this so this is already a, a, a sphere um no no reason to do it like that but again you know you, some people like it like that and, and whatever uh, you like so um, I'm gonna transform it to a sphere because I like the way it it goes. We say apply, and now our cube has become a real sphere, I believe, um, with a lot of polygons. And a lot of polygons, you know, uh, can be 
kind of uh, uh, a lot of work for Blender, but for sculpting, 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 I think it's sculpting. I hope it's sculpting. Uh, it's very good because uh, when we go into this menu now, now we can. I turn on the mirror modifier. If we have that, we we you see we we. Uh, wait, I'm gonna show you. This is always easier. Me, so we can now make a a cute little devil guy. Um, if you turn this off, you can just you know work on one thing. And there are a lot of things to do. And the more polygons it has, the the better it uh, you can sc sculpt on it. So very interesting. We can also. You can also subdivide it and give it more. I think you can use the modifier as well. Let's see if this works. The thing is with um, um, does this work too? I don't even know. Oh, maybe it works like this too. The thing is, if I I try to explain things, guys, but I'm again I'm not the expert at all. Um. And I probably make some mistakes, but what the reason why I'm doing this is because that's the only way to get better. If you want to be get good with explaining things, then you have to try to explain things. If you want to become good at speaking, then you have to speak and so on. Okay, so the sculpting, and in this way you could also create a, a cap, I think. I just didn't do it because I like it, but this is something I haven't I haven't done much with that. But it's also great for for making um, different stuff like um, like for example, this is a plan. Um, so we just add, add a plan. It's a simple plan. Uh, yeah, and if we subdivide it, that means we make a lot of different pieces. Uh, we can even more then we can make like uh, mountains you know and so on and you can yeah you can make a little bit make it smooth is always nice oh blender is crazy i so what am i doing ah we we are on the this menu i can't do it in here set to smooth back to sculpting now it looks smooth so uh, you have kind of a mountains now yeah, Blender, I don't know, guys. It's it's such a weird program. When I started first with Blender, um, I thought it's just uh, a 3D program. Uh, but it, the, it really, I think, I'm not sure, but I think what they uh, try to say with the word Blender is they're blending everything. You can make 2D animations, you can make uh, drawings even with Blender, you can make, uh, I, I, I even discovered a channel where people are using Blender instead of, of Adobe Premiere Pro, which I can understand very well. Um, you probably have seen when I save some games, Adobe Premiere written somewhere, or Adobe Premiere, the video program. I actually wanted to, to cancel the contract because I think first of all the program is very expensive it takes it costs me three uh, 23 euros approximately each month and i made a contract without knowing so i thought what i do is just uh i thought i i it's sort of like netflix um i used you know you to pay each month something and then you can use the program which i thought back then is a good idea because it's cool to to know profession uh, to to handle uh programs like that and i i can do it but it's I'm not happy with the program at all. It's it's so. Um, I mean, it's good, but it's so unstable sometimes, which is incredible to me for a program who is that. At least in that's my opinion. It's my take on that. That's my experience. Could be my system. I don't wanna uh, say it's a bad program, but in my experience, it's very very expensive, and for that, it's not that reliable. Anyway, uh, let's. Don't talk about that. Uh, we're gonna go and unhide everything else. Oh, yeah. So the hair particle system is very, very interesting. This guy, <laughs> just that oh, I wasn't, I did not finish that. I'm sorry. So you see, then I try to to match that kind of to to make it look well. So I just kind of um, made it in here with the modifier, you know, which is a little bit. Well, it took me a while to, to make it look like that. Um, because again, you, you think it's e easy at first. I thought that oh, a cap is not that difficult. I mean, I already did animation, <laughs> created a robot. So I should, that couldn't, but yeah, 
whatever. And this guy is in, wait, let me hide this. This is so white in the background. Um, so I wanted to make it more smooth. So I thought, I do, how do I do that? How do I make it smooth uh, or like flushy or something? Uh, no, not flushy, uh, fluffy. So I um, thought maybe um, creating a, a like um oh now what's it called again a wi-fi no wi-fi what am i talking i'm getting crazy right now uh wireframe modifier uh to give it approximately the look like a flushy ball and i thought yeah that's not too bad actually but it still looks like plastic and so i checked the video because i remember there was something about the the, the hair modifier um, a hair particle modifier and that's my first attempt to really take it serious to try to make something like that and it took me a while uh, if you go into this menu this guy here uh, it's actually I needed to to I think you can do it very well uh, the reason I have why do I have another one I don't even know maybe this one is just accidentally uh, there but I have for sure two let me see what the heck is going on. Ah, no, one we can definitely delete. That's not necessary. Or I'm not sure. Maybe I thought about something like this. No, we shouldn't delete that. But this one looks maybe. No. Hmm. Not so sure yet. Anyway, uh, what the point is, if you if ah here I know what happened. Yeah, there's a other guy in the guy. <laughs> Hey, Sarata guy. Ah, no, for sure. I'm an idiot. I made it. I made it. This is, I, I just, hold on, guys. So, this is how we started. Um, I created this for an other scene, which I'm also going to show you, just to have uh, that I can. But it, that's actually better, actually, right now, at least uh, for testing, for showing purposes. So, I, again, I connected everything to this uh, empty so that I can, you know, uh, drag it and so on. Let's, let's hide this guy here and um, then I copied the whole thing and put it onto my logo. That's why uh, I, I just simply forgot that it is there. So, but that solves the, 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 the riddle why I had so many of them. Anyway, but still, uh, I think if you're really good, you can make this as a one piece thing. I just needed to use multiple layers if you want or something to uh, make it look like I want it because I'm simply it's still weird to me the thing but it's very funny too and if you go into the particular modifier then you can uh, this is what I've set up for for that on this one um, I don't know we can change this because we actually came it so so what was very important to create it like this was um, there's trimming in this thing so if you don't trim that it becomes either too long or it doesn't look that great, I think, or something. Ah, this one, I think. Oh, well, something uh, about those numbers was very important. Again, I'm trying and erroring a lot of stuff. And if we change this, it's also affecting. So you have to uh, um, experiment a lot until you like it. But let me just show you how this uh, works approximately. Let me... Let's go back. So how do we get rid? Oh, we have to get rid of this guy as well. So how do we do that? How do we do that again? And sometimes my brain is just like I mentioned st stuck. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna get a sphere. This is how that the guy in the video did. Da, 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 da. <laughs> how the guy in the video did this? And there's so many good. Um, that's why I, I claim my video uh, no tutorial because I think that's very very important. A, a lot of people wanna wanna create something. They wanna quickly look it up, see what it is. So if the if it looks like a tutorial, I think you make making people mad. So I wanna make sure that it's, people understand it's not a tutorial um, because uh, you know it's not. Um, so we have a sphere um, like this one. Um, setting it too smooth i just like the ball and uh, we're giving it a new material so now it's a white material that's fine or do we want to have like red hair 
or blonde hair let's make green hair green hair is international so no one has green hair anyway so not naturally as anyway so we do not hurt anybody by choosing that because some have black hair blonde hair uh what else red hair uh white hair so what are we gonna do now yeah we're gonna go into this menu here and this is the particle system this is also very interesting i used it a little bit but not enough to um to know what i'm doing so uh that's just uh, yeah and here we have the hair doesn't this look great isn't that not a really funny looking thing huh i think that it's a little bit too intense huh uh, make it Ah, blue is a little bit nicer. Um, good. So we have like this hair, and now you, you could can change the hair. It's very very funny. Um, you can first of all you can put the number of, of the hair presented in the in the in the environment, but be careful. You don't have to to overdo it because thousand is already a lot of uh, numbers. You don't see this in this uh, menu. I had to learn this um, because uh, no, it's nonsense don't listen to me i'm talking nonsense um there's also a way to, to to make it show in the end screen as well but okay let's stick to the thousand numbers uh reset what i just said and we activate children children are children of those regular guys i think of those particles we say simple and now you see, you see it's very fluffy but this one is actually more fluffy than we will as we see it because you see display in the in the in the in this uh menu in this uh, in the real time it's only 10 percent if you want or only yeah 10 percent and or 10 it's not 10 percent it's it's 10 a visible if you say uh, and you see in the render itself it's 100 so if you want to see what is actually rep uh, what, you, what we actually see in the final render they have to put the same number into that or render it then you see it's looking different and now we can experiment with um, the trimming factor is very interesting to make stuff more flashy and the best thing is oh this is also different it's I don't know. That's you can experience uh, a lot with those stuff. So you can change the length of that. And now, because we see the actual number, we can also decrease this guy here. We don't have to. And this guy. The funny thing about this stuff. Make it like okay. This is a good number, actually. Wait. Yeah, this one here. No, let's say 24, also in the final render. The funny thing is um, this one. Let me show you this one. Now you can uh, actually, we can cam it or comp it. But you, the normally you don't see that like that. You have to go, it's very important, uh, in the EV render menu, you have to go somewhere. Yeah, you have to go somewhere. I think here. And... Oh boy, do I find that? I hope so. Is it here? No, here is it not. It should something be like... Hmm. Maybe here. Oh, here we go. Oh, I was lucky to click on this actually. I didn't expect that. So we are in the particle menu. I'm not sure if we have to be in the particle menu. Yes, we have to be. I'm very lucky that I was there. Otherwise, I, would, I, I wouldn't have found that. Uh, so we have to go into the particle edit menu and then use in this thing whatever this is called active tool and workspace setting i see um and then we have to activate this guy here so that because uh, in this menu every hair is represented as a black stroke and uh the that's okay if you know what you do but if if you like me you need to see that so you can activate that but i believe that it's um comes with the cost of the performance so you have to be very aware of that so now you can actually cam it like that let's just make it like that and let's see how this looks in here see weird right i think it's great <laughs> that's fun to to it's very simple it's not complicated 
but somehow it is if you want to make it very perfect but i wouldn't i'm i'm careful with being extremely perfect what i realized is to make hair like a little bit shiny it's like uh, using you know make it uh, taking away the roughness of things it always kind of makes it shiny and yeah how do we make that it looks like a bald spot for a woman that's what i see that's like quite literally not uh, it's weird um yeah but it's also something i didn't really understand how to make that uh, equal you can uh let's go into this menu we can make it like hmm. no we can add something oh no we can add something oh yeah okay well it's easy with the with the uh you know i want to make i think this looks like a like a female troll because of the color but let's not be too cliche whatever it's it's something it's either female or something it's a troll so now we can came it like that how does it look <laughs> the weirdest thing ever um yeah so we're gonna hide that we don't need it anymore now we delete that um i'm gonna go back to my scene and this is just a test thing you know i thought oh that's so cool you, we can actually make like uh, like um uh, like grass and so on but we could also make like a christmas tree with that stuff i think yeah i'm not sure if i if i the problem is um um from the 16th this month i will not have so much time until the 16th i'm pretty i have good time um but i also want to work on, on on the scene of for my brother so and i um not sure how how well it'll look in the end uh, the whole christmas nonsense so uh maybe i'm just have a little bit of the snowman in the in the recordings and that's about it um, um but yeah just saying that you know um oh you know what i'm gonna show you the logo which i i put the head and the fluffle buffle here <laughs> yeah hold on i pick the logo so guys we are now in the uh in the logo uh view that's where i created my my logo it's a weird space here see uh, multiple things um this is an early version i was already very proud of that uh, i put that on instagram and, and twitter but no one really cared oh that's because I'm, I'm so bad with social media because i'm i do not interact with anybody because i'm honestly I do not care about the other work <laughs> in terms of um, um, not that I don't think stuff is 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 boring or so, uh, something like that. Um, I also realized I when I was uh, not making let's plays, I barely clicked like button buttons anywhere uh, on the on the videos because I thought nothing. I thought I thought okay, cool video, whatever. Um, but also I didn't uh, do the opposite uh, so I just was very passive but since I do that I, I, I do it more uh, so I, I think if somebody disagrees with a great video I I, uh, I, I press the, the like button not saying that you have to do that please I will the, the, that's only if you feel like that because it in the end what is to me even more important than, than uh, the like button like button is nice but it doesn't matter if, if the, the what matters to me is the watch time of a video if somebody watched the whole video and uh, voluntarily that makes me very happy that is the best of course if everything if somebody likes that and <laughs> watch the whole movie and uh, the whole uh, uh, video and presses the like button that's like a jackpot um but for that you have to make good videos for that so but again i will not uh i don't wanna force people to do that it's uh, like or asking for that it's that has to come to come naturally otherwise it doesn't count at least in my opinion anyway um don't want to talk about that it just happens like so often so we have this guy here and the bushel buffel <laughs> and this is just so so great and also i thought 
yesterday i just uh walked around look at that this looks like um like a nest we could put something in here like you know like a present for you guys i thought maybe putting your names into that or something i don't know i have so many ideas um whew. What have I done? No, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. So ah, I said I don't care about uh, other people's work on Instagram or something like that. What I care about if somebody is nice and talks to me, uh, then I then I care when I when I start to know somebody. Um, then I care about uh, the stuff. But I barely uh, uh, check out other stuff on my own without uh, reason um uh, just that's how i work actually uh what i also tried to is uh, anyway that comes next time i'm sure i'm gonna talk about this later don't wanna go in too many different directions right now okay um this one i'm gonna render different because the if we use uh, circle no cycle then you see it's um I mean, this will look okay, I believe, later on. We don't, we just don't see it proper, I, I think so. This guy here. Uh, and even if we could adjust it, it looks also here a little bit nicer. But because it's Christmas and I like glowing stuff a lot. And uh, I think Bloom is not supported in here. Not quite 100% sure. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm not. What does that button do? No, this is a... a, a oh, no, no. Yeah. I'm not so familiar with the um, with uh, cycles, um, but uh, that's always the, the the better look in the end. Uh, but when it comes to glow stuff, then Eve is the better the blooming stuff. Then Eve is better for for uh, this purpose here. What the heck have I done? <laughs> what? <laughs> great, great. Let me just reset this. So I just reset it, uh, the scene uh, and let me do this again. <laughs> that was the, that was great. I just changed the camera. So when we press F12, uh, we should now get a different picture. Yeah, this is what I prepared yesterday, and this is how it looks with the glowing with the glowing stuff. We could make make it even sharper because the resolution I've set is is, is a pretty standard resolu resolution. Um, but it's also the logo, so it doesn't have to be too high. Uh, to, it doesn't have to be 4K or something. But you could do it with Eve. The big advantage with, with Eve is really the. It's so much faster. It's so much faster. It's incredible fast uh, because it's cheating a lot, like people said this often. Yeah, Eve is. Um, this guy is what professionals said, I believe. Um, this is calculating the. the, the I think pretty accurate how light is behaving like bouncing back from objects and and so on like pretty close to to the real world and this guy is like a game engine if you want it's very cheating with the with the with the light so it's not that accurate and you would say that it's not that good but no it's just different it's uh, first of all it's faster and you know we all play games and we are never complain about oh that's not real it doesn't have to be completely real looking except if you make uh, um, if you create stuff for uh, if you create furniture for uh, big companies like ikea i've heard that also uh, render scenes used meanwhile in those catalogs anyway so we say if and then we can set the different resolution uh, 1900 and 1900 and now we're gonna render that and it takes a little bit longer of course it's now very uh you know it's it's, it's sharper and we could go higher and higher until uh pc is burning the hair particle i really like it's so funny and in a way easy it's crazy guys but that's about it um tomorrow is the 6th uh of december that's where what we in the german it's uh, it's the german day called nikolaus it's a little bit weird because it's still confused to be honest when i think about that it's nikolaus looks like the christmas guy but it's not it's a different guy it's what the heck <laughs> it looks like the guy and, and in the german in the german uh 
I think there is there is coming the the the, the Christmas guy. What is the, the what is the Weihnachtsman called? The Christmas man? No, did I forget the name right now? Yeah, probably because I'm completely uh, Christmas Weihnachtsman. What is Weihnachtsman in the English language? Uh, you know the 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 big ho 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 guy. <laughs> I can't remember the English uh, thing. Anyway, but here in the German version, on the sixth, there comes a similar guy with with, with a bad guy, and if you were not, uh, if you didn't behave well as a child, uh, I was told back then when I was a child that that the, if I did well, I get something. If I didn't do well, they would put me in a sack. I mean, what the heck, guys? What the heck? <laughs> What the fuck is that? Anyway, uh, I did a bad job in explaining that. Uh, I can do better, but not today. I think I talk too much. Good. That's about it. Um, um, yeah, I, I really like doing, I think, um, recording those videos as well. Sometimes I thought, or oh, let me just say that. I thought about, I'm not sure if this, somebody's watching that far, uh, but I said that I would, uh, no, I, I wanted to say that I also want to like to maybe record something while I create something new, but that could be maybe a little bit boring because I don't want to talk too much. What I do usually when I create stuff, I shut up. You wouldn't believe that because I always talk, but I shut up and just listen to music and then create whatever I want. And this is very precious to me that I just, uh, you know, music and, and creating is so awesome to me. It's very, very cool. So that's the reason, I'm not sure if this is fun to watch then, you know, if I don't do, but you can let me know if you want or not. Good, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.